Okay, listen. I'm going to tell you something a great swath of gamers not only don't know, don't want to hear, but they don't want me to tell you. There are queer characters in Resident Evil. Several are confirmed by those who wrote them, and there are a couple more fan favorites, some believe are queer, that I will reveal at the end. But I want to know, though, what are your theories? Who do you feel is queer? Horror has always been queer. From pulp novels to horror movies, they were some of the first to embrace queer characters. I mean, sure, we were always the bad guys, but we were there. And it was a first. Horror is about being othered. And that is a distillation of the queer experience. That being said, Resident Evil hasn't always done right by the queer community. In past games, the few, and by that I mean one, queer character was judged by our heroes and the game itself and graded. Thankfully, it feels like things are a bit better in recent years. Still, there's room for improvement. There have been queer characters, but unless you really dug, and I mean really dug, into it, you'd have no idea. I don't even mean dug into it as far as in-game lore. I mean specific Google searches or following just the right author on social media. Amazing folks have been making characters in Resi games queer for years. But the vast majority of fans have absolutely no idea. So, who are they? Let's start with what we know for sure. Tyrone Henry, the tanky athletic guy from Resident Evil Resistance, is gay. Al Yang, the studio creative director for Neobards, the folks behind Resistance, took to social media to say, it's basically impossible to tell, but the character setting for Tyrone is that he is gay. But the goal was to write this without it becoming the sole basis of his character. The nature of PvP-only games makes revealing this kind of info sometimes feel pretty abrupt. Amazing! A character was gay from the get-go. You love to see it. I wish there'd been a way for us to get that context in-game, but I totally get why that wasn't really an option. It would have been nice to see some sort of in-game lure or character unlock option had you played him a lot. That would have been fantastic to see. Crispin D.A. Jettingham from Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City is also gay. In a Polygon article by Emily Guerra interviewing Adam Bullied, the game's writer and creative director, Adam attests, Crispin Jettingham, the leader of the US Special Forces team of Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, is gay. I know because I created him. Adam goes on to explain how he came up with Crispin's nickname, D.A., which is short for Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the official United States policy on military service of queer folks who serve. Bullied very much wrote Crispin's sexuality into his larger identity. Speaking of his backstory, D.A.'s was that he was a gay man serving quietly in the military. He wasn't overtly or stereotypically gay. He was just like the many gay people who serve in the military, a good, dedicated soldier. DA was awesome. He was super dope and you wanted to actually hang out with him. You'll love to see that sort of representation. The one I'm personally the most excited to hear is confirmed. Lady Dimitrescu from Resident Evil Village, the only queer woman we have in the Resident Evil games. I mean, sure, Evelyn Marcus is officially a lesbian, but that was in the Netflix Resident Evil TV show. It's good to see we have one on our team in the games. Anthony Johnston took to Instagram to clarify that through his contribution to writing everyone's favorite vampire mommy, that he always considered her uninterested in men. Saying in response to a Pink News article by Amelia Hanford on the matter, I can't speak for everyone else at Capcom, obviously, but as far as I'm concerned, the only thing about men that makes Lady D horny is their blood. We know he was the 
scriptwriter for much of not only the story, but for many of Lady D's lines specifically. Anthony, I raise a glass to you, my friend. We don't really need to talk about what's in it. Resident Evil, like the majority of video games and most media, has always handled queerness with care and respect. In fact, even in fan favorites like Resident Evil Code Veronica, Alfred Ashford is treated in a very problematic way by the game's heroes. The script has Claire and Steve saying very inflammatory and transphobic things to Alfred. Here's where we can wildly speculate who's queer, but just isn't announced yet. I do not ever recommend this for real people. This includes actors of characters that you love. It is incredibly damaging to have the control of announcing your identity to the world wrenched away from you. Let's all just be cool to each other. Now that that's covered, let's get to it. Many men in the gay community feel that Chris Redfield is gay, or at least a gay icon. And honestly, I'm pretty inclined to agree. If we look at the pattern of writers and the creative staff behind our fave Resident Evil titles to inform us of the presence of a character's queerness, all we have to do is look at Chris's sailor outfit from Revelations. Gee, I wonder if someone on the design team was a fan of Tom of Finland? Sailor Chris is basically a Tom of Finland's chef's kiss. A real revelation. Many fans probably had a revelation about this outfit. Uh-huh. And if that's not good enough for you, there is literally a change.org petition that's surprisingly close to its goal to officially add Chris to the queer family. At the time of this recording, I think they were shy about 285 signatures. Wouldn't it be fun if we just pushed that over the line? So who do I think is queer, but just not announced? Jill Valentine. We could go over stereotypes that are arguably useless, we could talk about how Jill isn't interested in dating men, at least in the games I've played, and how she very freely rebuffs Carlos's charming advances. But honestly, none of that really matters. I mean, Jill could be a lesbian, Jill could be ace. Most of what makes me feel that Jill is queer are more than just useless stereotypes or character traits that are used for queer coding, most of what makes me feel she's queer are the aspects of her personality that most mirror my own. Uh, I see a lot of myself in Jill, and I'm gay as heck. Other female characters are sidelined, or they're pushed off to go do something not as heroic, not as athletic, not as action-y, but not Jill. She jumps right in with the boys. In fact, sometimes she pushes them out of the way. I will say too, she could also be ace. I mean, based on her disinterest in dating, at least in the games I've played, honestly. Regardless of her sexuality, I think she's rad as heck and I'll continue to enjoy her amazing role in the Resi universe. To me, my hero Jill is queer. Maybe your hero Jill is different, but unless and until they announce her one way or the other, in my head and in my heart, Jill's a lesbian. I did a lot of research for this video, so I'm going to take any of the articles I referenced in this video and link them in the description below. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. If you could help me defeat the algorithm by liking or subscribing if you think I've earned it, and I'll holler at y'all later.